In this video, I'm going to teach you three different bid optimization strategies that will help you lower your A costs and increase your sales. These strategies are ordered from beginner level to advanced, and they come from my years of experience of managing Amazon ads. I built my own bid optimization software that has optimized tens of billions of bids. I'm an Amazon advanced partner. I manage a very large amount of ad spend, and I've worked with countless brands. Right now, I'm going to share a screen and take you through each strategy one by one and explain how to implement it into your own account. Okay, so the first strategy is just using the targeting tab. This is the easiest strategy as it requires no math. All you're going to do is put a couple filters in, do a couple bulk actions, and you're good to go. Usually it takes no more than five minutes, and it's good enough to keep your account running. So over here, the first filter that I'm going to put is an active status filter. So you want to look at only targets that are enabled. Then we also want to add a campaign active status filter. So again, only enabled. And then you can start adding ACOS filters. So the first thing I want to do is add an ACOS filter for anything above my target. So over here, let's assume my target's 30%. I could go in and I could say anything above 30%. Right. Greater than 30%. And this will show me all of the keywords that I have that are above 30%. Some of these you'll notice are a lot higher than others. So this one's 32%, while this one's 137%. So each of these generally needs to get a different bid change. So what you can do is start from the bottom up. So you can say anything above 80%. Right? And then you could apply a bid change to these. Then you could go down and say anything above 60%. And that would include the ones that are above 80%. You need to apply another bid change there. Then you do anything above 30%, for example, and you do another bid change there. So over here, above 80%, I can select all. And since this is more than double our target ACOS, I could go in and I could just say bulk actions, uh, adjust bid, right? Decrease by, and I could say 10%. Right? And you can even go below 10%, even though this is way above target, because we're gonna do multiple bid changes on these. Right, so you did your first bit change, then you're going to decrease this a bit. You're going to say above 60%. Right, then you're going to do another bulk action. You're going to do adjust bid. Then you want to do another 10%. Right, and you can decide on your own percentage. This isn't like a set rule or anything. This is another 10%. Then you're going to hit save changes. Right, now the ones above 80 just got two minus 10% bit changes. The ones above 60 got one. And you're going to go a bit below and say above 40. Right. And this time you want to do a smaller decrease because the main like high A cost keywords already got their bids dropped twice. And the plus 60% ones already got one bid drop. So you can go in and you can drop it by like 7% this time. Right. And you hit save. Now the 60% ones got their bid dropped twice. The 80% ones got it dropped three times. Anything above 40 got it dropped once. Between 40 and 60 would have gotten it dropped once. Right? Then if you want, you could go in and do above 30. This is going to give you anything between 30 and 40% plus the other stuff. Over here, if you're going to do a bit change, I'd recommend doing something very minor. Right? So you could do minus 3% or minus 4%. Because the other ones already got their bits dropped. And anything between 30 and 40% in our case doesn't need that big of a bit change. So I could do minus 3 to 5%. Right? And then you want to flip this around. So you'd want to do anything under your target ACOS. And you'd want to do significantly under target. So 5 to 10% above, uh, 5 to 10% under target. So you do like 20% or 25%. And you go in. Right? And then you can just bulk select. And usually I do pretty conservative bid increases. I'm not going to do more than one this time. And I also want to make sure that I have enough orders for this to be statistically significant. So I want to do greater than two, right? And you're left with 34 keywords. These are all below target. Then I'm just going to do like one five to 10% bit change on all of them. Most of these seem to be significantly under target with pretty good traction. A lot of these have sold $100 plus. I'm just going to go in and do one bulk action. And I can just adjust bid and I'll increase it by 15%. Right? All of these have been increased by 15% and should start selling more. 
And after that, I want to look at the keywords where I'm not selling anything. So I'm going to go in and say orders is equal to zero. Right now we have everything that hasn't sold. Then we're going to do spend is greater than, and you can decide what number you're comfortable with. For this account, I'm going to check greater than 15. And then over here, you can increase the time period a bit. Right? You can catch any keywords that don't spend that much per day, but overall have wasted a bunch of money. Right here, we only have one target. And it's this category target that has spent 16.69. Uh, and it has reduced nothing for us over the last 30 days. So over here, the bid is already low, so I probably won't drop it that much. But you want to look at dropping it anywhere from 20 to 50 percent or more if the spend is very high. So if you spend 200 without any sales, you could just turn off the keyword at that point, unless your product has a very high average order value, right? So that's pretty much it for this first strategy. It's nice and simple. It takes a couple minutes to do. You guys just watch this whole thing happen in like six, seven minutes so far. Uh, pretty simple. You do this maybe once every week. Uh, once every 10 days, depending on the size of your account. If you have a bigger account, maybe I wouldn't recommend doing this. I'd probably pick one of the other strategies. But if you have a small to medium-sized account, you could do this once every seven days, for example. And that should be enough. If you do this once every day, it's usually not that good of an idea because you're going to end up repeating a lot of the same bid changes. So if I log in tomorrow and I put a filter for everything above 30% ACoS for the last 30 days, it's going to be those same keywords. So even after I dropped their bids yesterday, I'm going to go and I'm going to drop them again because I still haven't had time for to, uh, to account for the new data. So you need to give it enough time to account for this data. And then you can go back in and make some new changes. Otherwise, you're just going to keep duplicating the same changes. And the keywords that you dropped are going to get their bids killed. And the keywords that you're increasing are going to get their bids increased way too much. So you want to do this once every 7 to 10 days. And you want to be conservative with the increases and decreases. And you mostly want to do this for accounts that are small to medium sized. Okay, so the second strategy I'm going to show you is called revenue per click bidding. This strategy is a lot more advanced, but it's still very easy to implement and it actually takes less time than using the targeting tab. This strategy is better in many ways. Number one, it's more accurate and gets you closer to the ideal bid. Number two, it can be done more frequently. So this can be done every day if you'd like. And number three, it's actually quicker. So it's better for large accounts and you don't have to deal with Amazon's UI being slow or with any bugs happening on Amazon's end. Let me show you how to implement it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is go into Amazon, go to bulk operations over here, and you're just going to download a spreadsheet or a bulk sheet. I already have mine open over here. And you're just going to go and add a filter onto everything. And we're going to start to sort stuff. So first things first, I don't want anything with under two orders. And this is 30-day data. So anything under two orders, I don't want to optimize yet. And then anything above below, sorry, 10 clicks. I don't want to optimize either. So I'm just going to deselect everything. Right. Now we only have keywords with statistically significant data. From there, what you're going to do is input a formula for these keywords. So we're going to do open brackets, sales divided by clicks, close brackets, times the target ACOS. Right. And this gives you a bit. So it's just got updated, as you can see. I'm just going to paste this to everything, Control-V. And then I'm just going to add the word bid in here. And then we have all of our bids done in seconds. This includes bid increases and decreases. So everything is done for you pretty much. And all of these are very, very close to what you should be bidding. Some of these might be a bit higher than what you're looking for. Just because some of the data isn't super correct, like this one over here has 12 clicks and 4 orders, which might be significant, it might not be significant. That's up for you to decide, but usually some bids are going to end up way higher than they should be. That's the only downside. For that, you can just go in and filter for anything above the cost per click that you're used to paying. Let's say greater than 1.5, you're going to hit save, and it's going to show you anything that turned out too high. And you have a few over here. This is 3.12. This is 3.46. And you have a few that are not that high. But you should go in and you should check. So since this has 10 clicks and 4 orders, this probably isn't going to maintain this level of performance. So over here, you could probably go in and knock this down to like 1.2. Right? You don't really have that many bids 
that are too high. Over here, it looks like just above 20, but you should go through these one by one. Make sure that the numbers make sense. Make sure that enough clicks happened to actually produce these orders on a consistent basis. And if not, go in and drop the bid down to a level that you're used to paying. So over here, this one had 13 orders on 34 clicks. The one below it had 15 orders on 29 clicks. This one had seven orders on 15 clicks. All of this probably isn't going to be maintained in terms of performance. You just want to go in and you want to drop these to more reasonable levels. Right? So that's the final thing. Uh, after that, you can go in and you can do the opposite. You can add a filter to everything. And you can filter for orders equals zero only. This is to weed out any non-setting keywords. Right? Then you can filter for either clicks or spend. I'm going to do clicks this time. So you could say clicks above 10. I'm just going to deselect everything. Below 10. Right? And then you're left with everything that has gotten 10 clicks but hasn't sold. And you can just go back in and you can say bid equals over here. You select the uh, column next to it. You just say bid equals the original bid times 0 0.8. This is if you want to decrease it 20%. Right? Then I have this. I'm just going to apply this to the entire column. And then you have everything, right? And you're just going to want to copy value only, right? So you're going to copy paste and you're going to paste values. And then you're pretty much good to go. You have all of your new bids over here. They're all about 20% lower. You can change the percentage depending on what you want to do and the minimum number of clicks that you've selected in your filter. And then after that, you should be pretty much good to go. You just want to change the spec to keywords, or if you use the completely new column, you just want to delete it so that you can upload your bulk file back into Amazon. After this, you're pretty much done. You just optimize all of the low ACoS keywords, all of the high ACoS keywords, and all of the non-selling keywords in pretty much a couple clicks. You're just copy pasting formulas pretty much, and you just add this back into Amazon. Amazon processes everything and updates all of your bits for you. This again is a very good strategy. It's very accurate and it's very fast. You just have to go in and make sure that the individual revenue per click bid changes that you inputted through the formulas are all based on statistically significant data. So you don't end up bidding too much or too little for a keyword based on a small number of clicks or orders. The final and most powerful way to optimize your bids is just to automate it all using AI. AI is gonna be a lot more efficient because it's gonna go in there every day and make the changes for you without you having to do anything. It's going to be a lot more accurate because it's trained on billions of bid changes and it can do a lot of other things besides just changing bids. Let me show you how it works. So all you have to do in principle is just go to any single campaign and select the shield next to it. Select your ACOS target, switch it on and hit save and you're pretty much good to go at that point. From there, the software automatically predicts how each keyword will perform and whether or not it will be above target ACOS. And based on that, it will choose to increase or decrease the bid for you every single day. You also have a few other options. So you can go in and select whether you want to increase sales or lower ACoS. You can select whether you want to automate placement boosts or not. You can select whether you want to negate search terms at what point they get negated. You can select how much you want to spend on testing new keywords, testing keywords that used to perform poorly and were now killed. And then you can add new optimal keywords from our database. You can harvest search terms from broad and phrase, and you can determine the bid aggression on those new keywords that we add. After that, you can also do day parting. So between the days, and between the hours, there are usually certain trends. So some days and some hours do better than others, and we can automatically bid during those periods to improve your performance by either conserving ad spend when performance isn't good or increasing ad spend when performance is up. So this is another thing that you can do. And then you can also harvest from auto to manual. So you can go into any auto campaign and then select the ad groups that you want to send the search terms to and the match types that you want the search terms to be in. And they're just going to start sending every single day. And you can just select how many sales you need on a search term to send it over and whether or not you want to negate it in the auto campaign after you send it over. That's pretty much it. This method works best because it's fully automated. You don't have to do anything yourself. 
And the AI is just a lot more accurate than you as a human. You don't have to do anything like go back and review the bit changes to make sure they were all statistically significant. You don't have to manually add filters and remove filters. You don't have to download and upload bug sheets. Everything's done for you automatically and it's all 100% accurate. And you got a bunch of other stuff done for you as well. Like placement boosts, like day parting, like negation, like keyword addition, like harvesting. So all of this stuff is done for you, which boosts performance a lot more. You save a lot of time. And all of this is a lot more accurate than what you could get done alone as a human being, which makes this my favorite method. Okay, so that's pretty much it for my three bit optimization strategies. All of these work, but I've ranked them in order of least recommended to most recommended. If you can do RPC bidding or the software, you're going to get a lot better results. I'm personally a fan of the software, but I run a software company, so it's not an entirely unbiased opinion. If you're interested, though, in what I just showed you, feel free to reach out to us at www.aihello.com and I'll pick up the call myself or someone from my team will come and guide you through our platform. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you again next week. I'll increase it.